Several communication barriers in the workplace tends to manipulate the message that passes from the sender to a receiver. It leads to conflict among organizational members. Managers often cite that the failure of communication is one of the significant issues in the organization. However, communication issues are often a sign of the long-standing problems. So here in this video, we will discuss the communication barriers and how to overcome them. Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will discuss communication barriers and how to overcome them. Make sure to watch the video till the end. And if new to the channel, then please do subscribe and hit on the bell icon to get the notification of latest uploads. And also if you have further queries, feel free to comment them in the comment section. Without further ado, let's get started. A communication barrier is anything that comes in the way of receiving and understanding the messages that one sends to another to convey his ideas, thoughts or any other kind of the information. These various barriers of communication block or interfere with the messages that someone is trying to send. Lack of attention or interest, physical disabilities, emotional barriers, physical barriers to communication and prejudices. We will also see how to overcome those barriers when it comes to the effective communication. The first barrier of the communication is semantic barrier. Semantic barriers are also known as the language barriers. These barriers are caused due to the improper communication between the sender and the receiver. The second one is the organizational barrier. The organizational barrier are those barriers that are caused due to the structure, rules and regulations present in the organization. The third barrier to the communication is a psychological barrier. Psychological barriers play an important role in interpersonal communication as the state of mind of the sender or the receiver can make it difficult to understand the information that is conveyed which often lead to misunderstanding. The fourth barrier is the cultural barrier. Cultural barriers are those that arise due to the lack of similarities among the different culture across the world. A term that can be harmless in one culture can regardless as a slag in another culture. Moreover, various beliefs can differ from one culture to another culture, one country to another country. The fifth barrier is a physical barrier. Physical barrier to communication are those that arise due to the certain factors like faulty equipments, noise, closed doors or cabins that cause the information sent from the sender to receiver to become distorted which results in improper communication. The sixth barrier, which is last barrier, is a physiological barrier. The physiological barrier arises when a sender or the receiver of the communication is not in a position to express or receive the message with clarity due to some physiological issues like maybe dyslexia or maybe nerve disorders that interface with the speech or the hearing ability of a person. So these are the six important barriers which are there in the communication, which includes semantic, organizational, physiological, psychological, cultural, and the physical barriers. We are coming to the second part of the video that is how to overcome the barriers to the effect of communication. So following are the different measures to overcome this of barriers for the effective communication. Number one is ideas should be clear before communication. The person sending the message should have the clear idea in his mind about what is what he want to convey. He should know the objective of the message and accordingly, he should arrange his thoughts in a systematic way. The second way to overcome the barrier is, sender should communicate according to the receiver's need. The sender should frame the structure of the message and not according to his own level or ability but also keep in mind the level, understanding and environment of the receiver. Third one is, be aware of tone, content and language of the message. The sender should consider that the message should be transmitted in a clear, precise and easy language. The tone of the message should not hurt the feelings of the receiver. Hence, try to formulate the content of the message in brief and ensure to avoid the technical words. Next is, message should be consistent. The message sent to receiver should not be inconsistent. 
the information transfer should be in accordance with the objective program policies and techniques of the organization fifth one is be a good listener both sender and receiver must be the good listener in the communication process both should understand each other's point of view with patience attention and a positive attitude a receiver can receive much relevant information if he is a good listener the sixth one and the last one is to ensure to getting the proper feedback the aim of getting feedback is to find whether the receiver has properly understood the meaning of the message which is received or not while communicating face to face the reaction on the face of the receiver can be easily understood so these are the six strategies which can help you to overcome the barriers of effective communication do comment and let me know what are other ways or what are the different ways of improving the communication i'll see you guys in the next video until then this is sandeep signing off thank you for your time